Got a few questions about this helicopter. Got 10 satellites. The GPS mode bobbing a little bit in the wind. The wind's blowing from the north. Satellites are light today, I only have 10. It's supposed to be better at three. Okay. Now I'm going to put it in uh, 3G mode. That's blowing in the wind a little. I'm going to uh, have it auto land. Just to show it will auto land in GPS and G 6G GPS. <laughs> See that was uh, manual mode which is 6G. Sticks out to uh, start and upper elevator take off. Right now it's in uh, slow head speed. I can uh, up the speed. Now it spins a little more. This is still 6G mode. Manual landing. Make sure this GoPro's running. Yeah, it is. Now I have 13 satellites. Put it back in GPS mode. There you go. Green line light sh shines solid that you have enough uh, satellite connections. You can see it right there. And um, if you put it in manual mode, it turns to white. Put it into um, ground optical. Um, it's kind of yellowish. <sighs> Gotta make sure you uh, unlock it. It won't take off when it's locked, of course, and never hit the lock button in flight unless you're going to crash. 
because it will immediately um, stop the engines from going. But it can be a good idea if you're headed into the trees. Hit the um, throttle kill and uh, possibly get less damage. Nice looking heli. You can see when I put it in. Uh, 3G mode starts drifting with the wind. The wind's blowing that way. And of course you can, uh, if it's, the wind's not blowing, you can use your trims and trim it out, but it wouldn't make sense today because you'll trim it for going this way and then it'll drift another way. Yeah. Left. Right. Left. That's helicopter's left, not my left. Love the sound of this prop. One of the things they need to do on these, uh, unbelted tail rotors is uh, make them stop whining so much. Throw it in GPS suddenly tries to stop and hover. If I have it in uh, manual mode, and I go over here, I say return to home. Still returns to home. Even though it's in manual mode. It's doing this all by itself. I can still steer it if it's gonna hit something. But it's landing by itself. And that was in uh, manual mode. <laughs> See, I got manual mode right on right there. It's in uh, GPS mode again. See it uh, stop itself. Now it's in uh, manual mode again. A lot faster. And you gotta slow it down. Oh no, we're 
out of control. Going down, going down. Mayday, mayday. Uh, we're okay now. Okay, the light is blinking, so I'm going to demonstrate the virtual fence. Stops. And that's gonna return to home. Battery's low. All right, so not touching it. Not touching it. Not touching it. Not touching it. All oh, by itself. Look at that. Isn't that neat? Always do your throttle lock. Remote even beeps when the battery's low. And then you got the red light blinking right here real fast. It means it's going to run out of power very quick. It, has, it allows itself enough time to return to home. And it puts up the virtual fence to keep you from flying too far away. Turned off the controller. And there she is in our glory.